If you're finding us for the very first time on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button. For anywhere in between, please follow us on Instagram and Twitter at BeFreeNC to stay up to date from Chastity with Be Free Nature Center's gardening tips and tricks. Gardening made simple. Hey guys, Chastity here. All right, so what we're going to do, this is the first project of the year, so I'm very, very excited. We're going to go ahead and plant some lilies, um, alium, we have three different types of alium. I have a purple alium, which my boyfriend Mitch, he gets on me all the time for mispronouncing it. So just a little disclaimer, I'm not the best with pronunciation sometimes, it's just who I am. I try, I get better. It takes me some time, but generally I end up saying it correctly. Um, which speaking of, I think he told me it's allium, not alium. A-L-L-I-U-M. I think that's what it is. Let's take a look at one of them. Yes, A-L-L-I-U-M. So this one we got from High Country Garden. All right. Um, gardens with an S. I love that company. We've ordered from them a couple times. They just, they know when to ship the product in your zone. The product is good. It's, you know, I haven't gotten any rotten bulbs or anything like that, so it's good. There's just a large variety. The website's user-friendly. It gives you the flower specifications of each plant, flower, whatever, um, all of the types. So today, we have that purple sensation. Uh, we have another one. It's called the True Blue Allium. Look, I pronounced it right. And these, these are a bit smaller. Um, you can see that here. You'll want to plant them with the pointy side up. And then I do have a mixture. I just have a couple lilies. And then I have a mixture of Goitis. Goitis? Let's see here. These guys here. Um, just got this from Menards. This is just a mix. And then I also have 13 of a, a rose color. And then another 12 of another pink. So very excited to get these in the ground. I will say you always want to check your specifications. Whenever it says to plant, plant it. If you miss the season like what I did on the gladiuses, um, excuse me, not the gladiuses. Those are midsummer bloomers. I mean the alliums. So if you do miss the time to plant, get them in the ground right away. Don't let them sit over through the summer thinking you missed the period of blooming. You may have missed the period of blooming. We're, we don't know if ours will come up or not. At least they're kind of getting their roots. They're not going to get root rot. The temperature is okay for now. We're zone four. Um, so it should be fine. We do want it to be below 40 degrees in the soil before it starts rooting any kind of roots. And we want that to occur for 10 to 13 weeks. Again, we miss that period generally in our zone, zone four you'll want to plant them in October um, so they can kind of get that hardiness in themselves before the winter and establish those roots for 10 to 13 weeks under that 40 degree temperature. But we're going to risk it, risk it for the biscuit is what I say. I'd rather that than leave them in the fridge and have them get root rot. So they were already in the fridge over the winter because I didn't really understand that I couldn't plant those bulbs here in the spring. So we'll just kind of see how it goes and hopefully throughout the season we can show you that they are blooming. And if not, we'll wait until next year. Um, I don't know if we have to dig those up, I'll have to double check on that. I do know the gladiuses will need to be dug up probably just before or just after the first frost in the fall kind of early winter. Um, we'll store those in a cool area, more than likely our shop fridge, so that way they um, can stay nice and cool and not be, you know, any cause for concern for not being able to use them again. All right, well, that's all I had. I just wanted to add that I'm about to do my first set of planning, so I hope you are too, and if you aren't, get out there. It's a nice day, depending on the area you're in. It's nice here, so get outside, and we'll talk soon.